I'm ready. Hello and welcome to Noise Makes Enemies. We're here at the Great Digital Pub today with these lovely guys. We've got Andy, Andy and James from Films of Colours. Hello. So welcome. Lovely sunshining day it for you both. It is wonderful. It is great. We've got two members missing today, haven't we? We do, yeah. Jack and James, another James. Our drummer and our bassist who sadly passed away. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, they just couldn't make it. They're unavailable. So yeah. Okay, cool. So tell us, where did you guys meet then exactly? <coughs> How long have you known each other? We met at uh, uni in Guildford University. Um, and we met Jack actually. Well, we met James through the course we were doing because it's like a music course. And then we met Jack. Uh, we just saw him walking about. He assumed he played music but he looked a lot like he did. He like he he, yeah, he was tall, had skinny jeans, looked cool. And we needed a bass player, so we said, Do you play bass? And he did. So, yeah, no. <laughs> he plays guitar, but and then, then he was like, Funnily like enough, he, he tried he tried to avoid us, I think, <laughs> for a few weeks. He was worried we were going to be terrible. <laughs> yeah, and then he joined, he gave in. So it's okay. Okay, so did you go to the same university? or? Yeah. What, which one was that? It was, uh, it's just a music college in Guildford, it's called the ACM. Oh, brilliant. Oh, okay, cool. So. Yeah, it's, it's cool. So, so, so. Brilliant. So, um, I mean, I've listened to you guys, I've seen kind of the names that kind of sprung to mind were like Coldplay and a bit of Keen kind of in there, and I've mm. seen other people that think the kind of same thing, but who are your inspirations and do you all have different kind of inspirations that you bring to the table or do you all, you all very similar? Yeah, I mean, Coldplay and Keen kind of, like we used to listen to them growing up but they weren't like one of our main influences no, or anything definitely like not keen no no so <laughs> radiohead uh my biggest influence i love yeah. radiohead um and i listen to them on a daily basis uh, our common like loves are like mike snow uh, radiohead mike block party bit of muse yeah foals like and you know everything, everything, and all that sort of stuff. So, Brilliant. what about the other two? Are they kind of similar in there? Yeah, Jack's interest? Jack's a bit more like abstract. He, yeah. Yeah. Um, what does he listen to? I don't know. All sorts of stuff. It's the guy who did the Amelie soundtrack. Uh, I love that. Yeah, I can't remember his name, <laughs> but he's he's got quite an eclectic mix. And then James James Reese. He's kind of he was kind of brought up on more gospelly side of music because he's obviously a drummer. And he, um, yeah, loves, well, doesn't love church music, but was kind of more involved with that sort of thing. Yeah. Oh, the, dr the drumming side of, like, drumming in gospel music is really, really great. And he just, it, you can sort of hear that in some of our songs. Yeah. Definitely live. Yeah, definitely. Pick that up a bit. It's pretty cool then. Yeah. yeah. So you guys write your own music. Yeah. And you're writing your forthcoming album, which is going to be released sometime next year. Yeah. So tell me a bit about your writing style. What do you quite about, you know, what's the main kind of themes in your music that you write? Um, anything really, um, I don't know, whether it just stuff that happens to you or anyone else, like from the news, you take something from there. Yeah. Something, or, something that like makes you think about something and affects you. So. Yeah, I mean, we try, we try to, we're trying to write more lyrically that would, you know, grab other people's attention and make them feel something. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, that as well. And I just kind of want to write songs that have no meaning whatsoever and just kind of random stuff as well. So you kind of just got to mix it up and do whatever, really. Yeah. It's well, the same for you as well. Yeah, yeah, we sort of write quite a lot together, us two. Yeah. yeah. Do the four of you all write, or is it mainly sort of you two there? No, it's uh, all four of us. Definitely, the, like the music side of it is all four of us, mm. and then um, Jack writes quite a lot of lyrics as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and melody. But he's not here right now. Oh, <laughs> so tight, so tight. So, so, what about this album that's going to be <clears throat> released? Have you got any kind of ideas for that? And do you know? Have you got a date in your mind of when you want to get it finished? Yeah. <laughs> so we're hoping to record end of the year, Brilliant. sort of around Christmas time and have it sort of coming to shape yeah by the next. beginning like first couple of months of the next year right? yeah so okay. and then in, you're going to tour but we yeah. don't want to we don't want to rush anything so if it's not ready then we're not just gonna go for it because it's our first album we don't want to 
flop before we started. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, it's got to be perfect. Well, yeah. nothing's perfect, but close to perfect. Fantastic. <laughs> what, what's the ultimate direction then for 2012 and, and beyond? Um, well, one is write a, a great album. Yeah. That's the main thing, because without that, we're probably not going to go anywhere. Yeah, that's um, true. To get a decent, well, our live show is pretty good already, but make it super good. More of a show is the kind of plan. Yeah. Make it something people actually want to you know, come and watch and remember afterwards. Um, I don't know, just be better than we are at the moment. Not that we're not bad, but I just want to keep getting better and better. Which we are, I can see it happening. So. And then we'll hopefully release release the album beginning of next year. And then uh, after we played South by Southwest in March, and we got an American booking agent out of that. So hopefully we'll be doing a tour out there. We were asked to play this other thing in like, um, LA as well in April, but oh, it just didn't work yeah, out. And and possibly Coachella as well. Which oh, would be wow. amazing. Be so um, cool. And there may be even a um, possibility of doing walk to tour as well, which would be insane Incredible. if we got that. Yeah. Oh, that'd be brilliant. So go and break America then, yeah? Yeah, yeah do nice. that. We'll just get that one out of the way and then, yeah. we'll, then we'll come, come back, back here. here and live normal lives. <laughs> <laughs> so, where are you guys both from? You're from locally, aren't you? We live at the moment, yeah, around here. So, Bo, we live at the moment. Yeah. But I grew up in Somerset. Oh, I grew right up yeah. right near there as well, near Stonehenge. Ah, so have you guys known each other for a long time? No, yeah? no, no, we we met um, at uni. Yeah, we met at uni, so we didn't know each other before that point. So obviously, um, you've got Meadowlands Festival <coughs> next weekend, which is on the third. Yes. Um, what other festivals have you got lined up? We got a couple. Um, we got the fifteenth of June. Yeah. And what's that, James? Beach Break Live. Beach Break. Not the main stage, this, the one after that. Yeah, it's going to be great. At 1 a.m., I think. So, we're gonna so get technically Saturday dressed. morning, but Friday night. Brilliant. Yeah. And then <coughs> um, Summer Breeze, which is the, um, yeah, I don't know when it is, but it's in July. It's going to be July great. July the 14th. Is it? I think so. Well, there you go. <laughs> and then a festival called Jack's Festival in Kent as well, which is 10th of August. Yeah, so that's going to be a really good one. Yeah. Brilliant, okay. Well, if you could sum up the band in one word, oh, what would that one word be? Um, Tricky one, I'll put you on the spot bit here as well, I don't yeah. know. One word? <laughs> um, oh, that's difficult. Fantastic. Yeah, that's great. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I like to hear. So what are you guys going to perform for us today then? We're going to do uh, two songs. Yeah. One is a song that we've got released at the moment called Running. Love that track. Thank, Thank you very much. Track. And the second is the B-side and it's called Creature of Habit. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Woo!